I'm not going to get on my, you know, milk crate and start ranting, even though I really, really could. Hello there, internet, and welcome back to another video. Welcome to an unofficial series called Make It Gay, because this series is all about taking pop culture whether it's video games, books, movies, whatever it is, and making it gay. Now, I could go into a rant that is fueled from me writing my senior thesis paper about gender um, and sexual representation in video games in the industry. I won't today. But what I will do today is fan cast and change some things up in Emma by Jane Austen. For the record, I have not read Emma. Um, most of my internal headcanons about Emma come from uh, the web series Emma Approved. Fantastic. Highly recommend watching it. But it's not gay enough. And I think more things in the world need to be gay. So how many times am I going to say that? I don't know. A lot. Probably. Calendar. I'm already recording. It's happening <laughs> now. So first up, we have Emma Woodhouse, the main character. Now she is your stereotypical rich, I was gonna say white lady, but that's canon. She, you know, is smart. She is very beautiful. She is happy. She lives a comfortable life. So she's actually more mature than her actual age is because her mother died and her sister already has gone off and gotten married. So that leaves her in charge of the social ongoings and such for the household, so she lives at home with her dad. However, as most humans do, she has some flaws. So she has a fear of love. However, she does find herself in the role of playing matchmaker for people. And uh, that is really what the story is about, is her growth as a person and also how terribly she can match make people. So for her, I picked Aaliyah Bott because she is a wonderful actress. And I really wanna just get away from the stereotype um, of having her be played by a white blonde woman, it needs to change. And oh, you know what, Hollywood, here you go, free one. Take it. It's yours. Now, to counteract uh, Emma and her um, prowess, if you will, we have original character Mr. George Knightley. However, I'm going to change the name to Miss Georgie Knightley. Georgie's a great name, by the way. She is actually Emma's sister-in-law. We're going to ignore that part, though, because problematic and is a trusted advisor and friend of the Woodhouse family. She is uh, in her 30s. She's a respected landowner. She is the only character that is very openly against Emma and her antics and calls her out on her shit. But it's not done out of malice. She genuinely cares for Emma. And so I picked Brianna Hildebrand. I mean, the vibe is perfect, honestly. Now, these two actually do eventually uh, get married, which is why I said to ignore the whole sister-in-law thing. Technically, they're not related, but they are related. You know? It's a little weird. And next, the third, uh, truly, I feel, main character of Emma is Harriet Smith. She is your average 17-year-old uh, woman. She actually lives at a local boarding school. She becomes Emma's protege and, and sort of the focus of Emma's matchmaking schemes. She really is your standard, um, I think, the character that at least now many readers can relate to the average young girl looking for love and uh, fulfillment in life in some way. For her, I picked uh, Josie Toda. I think that's how you say the last name. I apologize if I'm wrong. Uh, she is actually a transgender woman and we stand. She's beautiful. Like, hello. Next, we have Frank Churchill, who I kept canonly male because there is a trans male uh, singer, model, and actor named Leith Ashley, um, who I thought would be perfect for this role because uh, gives me major like rich boy vibes. So he is considered a uh, potential suitor for Emma. He pretends to be interested in Emma for the sake of his aunt, but really he's interested in someone else who we're going to get to next. So at first Emma thinks that he is attractive, charming, clever, but really he is just very deceitful and just they are not a match. As I said, the next person is Jane Fairfax, uh, who I picked Sophia Carson for. Really the one that rivals Emma in both accomplishment and beauty. I mean, let's compare, not 
keep comparing women but beauty standards, but here we are. She is very kind and generally has an even temperament, but because she lacks the, the fortune that Emma has, she has to consider either being employed as a governess or marrying up. Coincidentally, Frank and Jane are secretly engaged and they eventually do go on and get married. So she marries up as she uh, wanted to. Next, we have uh, originally Mr. Elton, but in this case, Miss Elton. She is the village vicar. Uh, very agreeable, pretty. Uh, really, everyone welcomes her to a social gathering. Now, she pretends to be interested in Harriet when really she is interested in Emma, and then the truth comes out, doesn't work out so well for everyone. Obviously, Emma rejects her, and so she just goes off in a fit and ends up marrying uh, someone else uh, shortly thereafter. And, uh, you know, Emma just seems to think that she is just very conceited and proud and superficial. Now for her, I picked Jesse Miley, Miley. Oh my God. Hear me out. I know we love her and, and you would love to see, I mean, I want to see her more in, uh, you know, protagonist roles, but this photo exists and immediately I was sold and then tell me I'm wrong. So we're on to our final character because I didn't want to do everyone, mostly because there isn't a lot of descriptors involved with people. There's just a lot of people with the same names and I just, you know, let's stick to the main romance circle. Next we have canon character Mr. Robert Martin, however, changed name to Miss Bobby Martin. And she is a 24 year old farmer, you know, the standard uh, middle class uh, character. She's good hearted. She works really hard. Um, but she does lack the refinements or just status. Eventually, um, uh, Bobby and Harriet end up together. Uh, they get married. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. True romance. And for her, I picked Haley Steinfeld because I love Haley Steinfeld. I needed her in, in a fan cast somewhere. And I feel like she could really, uh, bring life to a character that I think a lot of people just kind of ignore or forget about. So that has been my Make It Gay um, unofficial series first episode. I don't know. You know what? Whatever. Uh, if you have any suggestions for anything else that you would like to see uh, be more gay, uh, let me know. I would happily do this. Uh, there needs to be more representation of different, um, not just genders, but um, sexualities in popular culture and media. I'm not going to get on my, you know, milk crate and start ranting, even though I really, really could. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, if you want more of it, let me know by commenting below or leaving a like or subscribing. Head on over to my Patreon. I put behind the scenes stuff there for as low as $1 a month. You get um, extra content and generally me just telling everyone that I love them. And as always, thank you for watching and keep on shining, storyteller.